We are all welcome in Jesus' name. Father, we enter into your presence in Jesus' name. Papa said, five is a number of grace. In 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9, the Bible said, But he said to me, my grace is sufficient. God has been expounding, multiplying, and increasing peace in the church on every side. 
His grace has been on PCD Church International and the proofs are undeniable. Please raise your voices and begin to give him thanks. Father, we give you all the glory. It's been five years in your favors, in your peace, expansions and grace. We love you. Thank you for her 50th anniversary. We thank you for her previous anniversary. We thank you for what you're going to be doing tonight. Peter glorified in Jesus' mighty name. We have given thanks. We declare the service open in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise if you love him. If you are happy for what God is doing, celebrate him one more time. The loudest shout will go with the loudest miracle tonight. Hallelujah. A welcome address from Felix Olo, the presiding pastor, on the occasion of our 50th anniversary service and celebration. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, friends, well wishers, and visitors, it is with great joy that I welcome every one of you to this special occasion and service to mark and celebrate the 50th anniversary of God's Church, Peace City Church International, which was officially inaugurated on the 16th of July, 2017. The greatest and undeniable blessing of God to this church is all around peace, and it has been evidenced in all our affairs as a commission in families and in the lives of all who have remained genuinely connected to her. This year anniversary celebration is tagged breakthrough and it came by a divine revelation I received from God as I waited on him to inquire on what he has for us for the year we have just stepped into as a church. The theme breakthrough is God's assurance to us as a commission on what we are all set to experience in all areas in this new year and season that begins for us from today. Therefore, join us today and tomorrow in our Thanksgiving service as we celebrate this uncommon milestone and be rest assured that for being here today, to celebrate with us both on ground and online, you are set to break through into great testimonies as you appreciate God for us and with us. Sit back and be blessed today. One more time, you're welcome. God bless you and your family. <laughs>
goes there? Who goes there? Who goes there? With a fly color. With a fly color for PCT Church International. But the color what would they fly now? The blood of Jesus now in the inside. The anointing made they are alive, no they pamper egg, it they break you. The anointing made they are alive, no they pamper egg, it they break you. The anointing made the PCT Church International, you know they pamper egg, it they break every you. was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word that was preached did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Open your heart. That is God's will for you. That is God's will for you. That is the will of God for you. So number one step that will lead to your breakthrough. This account is a a well known account of someone that received that experienced breakthrough. Breakthrough that was so amazing. God showed up for her. And there was a total turnaround. She enjoyed uncommon breakthrough. As she obeyed the instruction of God's prophets. You can experience spiritual breakthrough. You can. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. All our breakthrough is the portion of your people. And I stand here tonight. I pray for you in this new year, in this day, fifth anniversary. May the God of heaven curse you, curse you, curse you, curse you to experience breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, spiritual breakthrough is your portion, physical breakthrough. Is your portion Amen. in the name of Jesus? Amen. In this new year of PCT Church International, you will enjoy financial breakthrough. Amen. You will enjoy social breakthrough. Amen. You will enjoy emotional breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For students. You will enjoy academic breakthrough. Amen. You will enjoy marital breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All of us ministers and workers in the house of God, we will enjoy, we will continue to enjoy ministerial breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The ones in politics, you will enjoy political breakthrough. Yeah. Your level will change. Yeah. Your level will change. Yeah. Jehovah will connect you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. no more limitation. Yeah. No more stagnation. 
In the name of Jesus. May God help you. Help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray what you have seen in these past five years will be nothing compared to what you will be seeing after now. In the name of Jesus. May Jehovah place his honor upon your life. Doors will open for you. In high places. Uncommon doors. Ministerial doors. In Jesus name. The wisdom you need. May Jehovah give to you. Wisdom that will make your face to shine. Wisdom that will distinguish you from others. Let it rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every desire of your heart, every dream, I pray. May God Almighty cause these dreams to come to pass. Let them become a reality. In the name of Jesus. Burden bearers. Let, may they be released to you. Amen. Destiny hand lifters. Men of influence. Men of influence. People that matter. May Jehovah bring them your way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive grace. Grace for divine speed. Amen. The Bible said the hand of God came upon Elijah and he overtook Ahab. May God, may his hand come upon you. Amen. May his hand come upon you. Amen. That it shall come to pass that those who knew before now will begin to ask questions. What happened? Thank you, mighty Father. <laughs> A K T H R O U G I set to speak to everyone. With Jesus' love and with great humility, let's welcome my mentor. Hallelujah. Lord, we return all glory to you. No good job can be done except by the power of the Holy Spirit. We love you. We love you. We welcome your present spirit of the living God. Glorify Jesus in this Thanksgiving service today. Speak to our hearts. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Amen. You may have your seat. Let's celebrate our pastor, please. Amen. Second Kings chapter 4. Second book of Kings chapter 4 from verse 1, quickly. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born men. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thy handmaid had not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son bring me yet a vessel and he said unto her there is not a vessel more and the oil stayed then she came and told the man of God and he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and leave thou and thy children of the rest. <coughs> Last night we saw that if we are going to experience a breakthrough, number one, you must know who you meet. The person you meet will determine whether you will succeed or whether you will fail in business, in life in business in marriage in ministry, in academics name it, who you meet will determine whether you will succeed or whether you will fail and it is very very important when you have a need you, you go to God God will not just be an alternative option no you remember him then I also talk to us about the place and the position of your prophet in your life Go through the scriptures like the Bible says by a prophet Israel was brought out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved there are things that might never happen until we are properly connected to our God sent prophets like I said yesterday night I don't know the business a woman will venture into that would, that would have drastically turned things around for her The prophet of God stood and said, By this time tomorrow, a measure of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel. And it happened the following day. It is not something anyone can imagine. And that is why those who have understanding don't joke or play with the man that God has. Sent to them. All of my help. All. How many? All. All. Lift your prayer eyes. When you are looking up to him and say you are the only one I know, God knows. And when your eye is on somebody and you are saying God, God, God also knows. Say, let your heart be right. Let it be right. Trust in the law with all your heart. And lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. They look up to him and we are lightened. 
their faces were not ashamed. If you need his help, I won't call you out, but right where you are, you just lift up your hand and say, God, here am I. And that area you need help, just whisper it to him before I say a word of prayer. That area of your life where you need help. That area of your life where you need help. Just say it to him. All of my help come from Look at the way God turned this the situation of this woman we have looked at in our message this morning it was hopeless but her encounter with the prophet of God it is difficult. We believe it because it is the word of God. But humanly speaking, the situation was hopeless. I may not understand, I may not know your need. I may not know what you have whispered to the Lord. But I know that I serve a God who is dependable, who is trustworthy, a covenant keeping God with whom nothing is impossible, the God who makes a way for his people where men say there is no way the God of open doors the God who opens strange doors the promoter of his people The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. The grace of God that brings salvation, that brings healing, that brings deliverance, that brings promotion, that brings supernatural lifting, that brings freedom. Father, behold your precious people. I ask, show up in their life show up in their situation give them that miracle give them that miracle give them that miracle they need in the name of Jesus receive your breakthrough receive your breakthrough receive your all and breakthrough in the name of Jesus let him give you peace by all means let him give you peace by all means. In Jesus' name. I silence every contrary voice. I silence all negative speakings against you, against your peace, against your joy, against your lifting, against your promotion, against your breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. You are healed. You are healed. You are made every with whole. In Jesus' name. 
Thank you, my Father. We are grateful because of what you have done. Your people will share their testimonies to the glory and praise of your name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Lord, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your children. The leaders, the first three leaders of both the men fellowship, the women fellowship. And even that of youth using them as point of contact to the members of their departments. Your word says, let not your hands be weak, for your labor shall be rewarded. I pray for you, your hands will not be weak. Your hands will not be weak. Re receive divine empowerment. God's ability in the mighty name of Jesus. 